How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Bear Reviews. Back with yet another review. A little bit of hoppy season. Hopeful goodness in the form of Great Raft Brewing's All My Tomorrows. Um, yeah. Never had this before. Why? Because it comes down Louisiana way. Uh, never uh, had these guys before. Never had a lot of uh, Louisiana-based brews, but I was lucky enough to have a, a viewer, Corey. Thank you very much, Corey. Send me off a big box of stuff. This is in it. There you go. Let's dive into it. As far as what it says on this bottle, it says, All My Tomorrows, which sounds like kind of like an, like an emo band. You would say at your local like like um, music venue for like underage kids. Be like, did you see All My Tomorrows open up for, you know, Taking Back Sunday or some shit like that? I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, All My Tomorrows, Hoppy Season. It says, uh, drink real beer. Uh, serve chilled, 35 IBUs like that matters. 6% alcohol by volume. It is bottled January, February, March 24th, 2017. This is August 20th, 2017. So there is some time on this. Hoppy Saison. Hoffman dropped off a bit, but it is a Saison, so there you go. As far as what else it says, it says this is a modern interpretation of a classic farmhouse ale that celebrates American innovation. We tricked or kicked tradition to the curb, adding a generous amount of rye and American mosaic hops to create a rustic Saison that's earthy and fruity with intense aromatics of juicy citrus. Brewed and bottled by Great Rap Brewing. Shreveport, Louisiana. Uh, Lib-wise, it's cool. It's a, it's it's kind of like crappier meets lightning kugels kind of styling. I, I don't hate the label. It doesn't blow me away. I like the little banding up here. Then where it twists in the back. I don't know. That kind of does it for me. Anyway, let's give this a whirl. Pop that off. See how she treats me. So, happy Saison with rye. Um, so, you know, Saison earthy, funky, um, could be tart, um, could be a couple different ways. You can interpret Saison a bunch of different ways. Rye, adding a little bit of spiciness to it. Hops, older hops, since it has, does have some time on it, maybe even more spiciness. So I expect this to have a decent kind of peppery spiciness, maybe a little tartness, maybe a little citrus, who knows. Um, gigantic hit on this. Um, you know, Saisons can come out that way every now and then. Didn't give it the best pour in the world, but at the same time, ended up with about Almost three fingers of infinite creaminess headwise. Super uniform, neurotic, not neurotic, like classically compact bubbles that like look like they're drawn in a painting or computer generated almost, I should say. That's how like creepily uniform they are. And it's got a very kind of sprightly kind of um, uh, champagne-like carbonation to it. Pretty, a little bit of haze to her, nothing too crazy. That dirty haze, that kind of farmhouse haze. Not that New England IPA kind of haziness that has that kind of just... Um, Butternut squash to it. This is more of like a dirty, filthy kind of haze. Kind of, oh, I like my um, Saison's Belgian stuff like that to skew. Let's see if I'm going to nose through all this head. Oh, yeah, there's a lemony tartness to it. A lemony, hay like tartness to it. Maybe even like an apple. Not even like a green apple. Just like a fresh kind of red and, you know, like Macintosh style apple kind of fruitiness to it. Along with that tart kind of lemoniness, citrusness. And it does smell like it have a touch of spiciness. That's pretty much it. Sweet, tart, fruity, a little bit of spice. She's on to a tea so far. Let's dive in. See what she's got. Classic. Classic. There is... A, a biscuity malt to it, pretty big, weedy kind of biscuity malt. Oh, weed, like wheat, like so the wheat kind of maltiness to it. Um, combined with that kind of biscuitiness, a little bit of spiciness. I actually think it's coming more from the rye than it actually is coming from those hops. There is a little bit of bitterness. It's very subtle, very kind of nondescript on the back. There's a nice sweetness to it. It's kind of verging and almost kind of like a, 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 um, a European kind of saison to where I'm getting almost... A little bit of those, even wheat beer vibes, where I'm getting a little banana, stuff like that. Spiciness, fruitiness, the apple things kind of died off. The citrus things kind of died off. It's more of like a kind of soft, yeasty profile fruit medley. Nice mouthfeel to it. More wheat beer to me, the more I think about it, than Saison. But sometimes you're kind of splitting hairs there when it comes to certain styles. But yeah, nice beer. Somewhere between a wheat. And the Saison, nice bitterness to it. Um, from, um, I shouldn't even say bitterness, spicy bitterness. 
uh, to it from that kind of maybe Ghost of Hops passing combined with that kind of rhyme. And infinitely drinkable. Lower in ABV, 6% alcohol by volume. Summer beer, quintessential. Kind of like you had a traditional kind of wheat beer, like a wine stefaner. Kind of had a baby with like an American kind of New England style saison. Kind of somewhere in there. So definitely uh, summer all the way. Super crushable. Um, not super impactful, but at the same time, pretty tasty stuff. Uh, so let's talk about it. It's one of the better um, saisons that I've had as of late. Um, no, um, definitely not the worst, but it's kind of floating in the middle there. Um, while it does produce nice, drinkable, um, enjoyable flavors, it just lacks something. Now, is that lacking of something? Those hops dropping off, that what it was supposed to be, that hoppy saison could be. But I can only judge what I'm given, and, you know, this being five months old, it is what it is, but it's still pretty damn tasty. Value and availability, no idea, it was given to me. Maybe Corey or someone down New Orleans way can ring it, ring in on this as far as availability and pricing, and just leave you with if you like what well, we like this, if you like saisons, if you like wheat beers, and you wish something was meaning in the middle, because those are the vibes I'm getting from this beer. Is that it? Just has that kind of you know combination of that little bit of subtly tartness, a little bit of spiciness combined with that kind of wheat vibe, wheat beer vibe. A um, little bit of drying, kind of yeastiness even, to, and that the hint of kind of banana yesters to kind of give you that kind of best of both worlds thing. So if you want those two beers to marry, this is your beer. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, didn't, anywhere in between, please leave comments somewhere down there and stuff and things. Uh, that, uh, let's see. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers. All four of those places if you want to check me out anywhere else. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice, hoppy season right now. And Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.